The Surveillance and Measurement System, or SAM 935, is a portable surveillance and measurement system that detects and identifies multiple nuclides, providing quantified results using time slice analysis. Each area office will have one of these instruments for use in incident response. The SAM comes with a Pelican storage case with the following items stored in the phone. A cesium-137 calibration source, and an extra battery. Under the electronics you will find a quick start card, a quick reference card, and an operations instruction manual. In the storage compartment under the reference material is stored the battery charger, an adapter for charging the battery outside of the instrument, a shoulder strap, and a carrying handle for the instrument. To install the strap or handle, simply unscrew the holding screws, align the hole in the end of the strap into place, and install the holding screw back into the instrument casing. There are two holding screws on the front top of the instrument and two more on the lower rear. Looking at the right top of the instrument, you will find the instrument speaker for the audible alarms and beside that a sliding protective cover. Inside you will find the on-off power button, a charging port to charge the battery while it's still in the instrument, and a computer RS-232 fitting to download or print the spectrum alarms using a computer. In the top center of the SAM is a helium-3 neutron detector located inside the casing. On the left side of the SAM is a 1 by 2 inch sodium iodide gamma detector. To charge the battery outside the instrument, connect the adapter wire to the charger wire and then connect the opposite end to the battery wire and plug into any outlet to charge. The factory supplied battery charger takes approximately four hours to recharge a completely empty battery pack. To switch batteries, turn the instrument over and unscrew the battery cover, then pull out the wiring connector. Reach in with one finger and depress the button until the battery pops up. Grasp the battery wire and gently Pull the battery free of the instrument. Release the connector by pressing on the release button and pulling connector apart. To insert the battery, match up and connect the wire by gently pushing the connector together. Insert battery and push it down until it clicks into place. Stuff the wire inside and screw the battery cover into place. You cannot recharge the internal battery pack while the instrument is powered on. Connecting or disconnecting the charger while the SAM is operating will cycle power and trigger a power up restart. To turn the instrument on, simply press the on off button located in the compartment on top. The instrument will go through a short self test and display screen with the results of the test and you want to make sure it passed. You can also see the instrument's configuration and status by checking the information area. The message line, directly above the function key labels, displays important information about the current state or mode. The first row of the function keys, F1 through F4, controls different software functions. The current function of each key varies according to the active screen. The function key labels corresponding to each key are displayed directly above the corresponding numbered key. Some function keys perform a single defined function. For example, return or exit always appears over F1 when available and is used to exit from the current screen when done. Cancel is used to abort a step, usually without saving changes. Other function keys are sometimes used as toggle keys and are used to activate or deactivate a certain mode. For example, enable becomes disabled. 
The arrow keys below the function keys are used to select items from lists or 